Good morning, everybody. Yeah, I know I'm fully dressed, and it is very clear I got all dolled up for you before I made this video, but I'd like to reiterate the fact that today is Saturday, which is awesome. Therefore, we can relax, be lazy, and enjoy our day to the very best of our ability, I suppose. Unless, of course, you do happen to be working on Saturday, in which case, you know what, you can still make Saturday a good day if you're working. I just, you can. You just gotta find a way to do it. And it shouldn't be too difficult. So, in that case, happy Saturday, everybody. Yep. It's Saturday, and we are pretty, pretty chill on this Saturday. I'm feeling pretty chill. Just, um, just relaxing and being me, you know, that's a problem about, like, some things is not being on Saturday, because, I mean, yeah, we have college football, but lately I just haven't had any time to watch any of it, which really stinks, because I really do like college football, you know, there are lots of, um, college football teams I like, I mean, I like the Ohio State University, you know, because I actually have family who goes to the Ohio State University. Let's see, um, what other colleges do I like? Um, I like Michigan and Michigan State. You know, I once told you guys I went to a Penn State themed wedding, so in the immortal words of every Penn State alum, we are. Um, so. Actually, yeah, it does remind me. Sean Lee from the Dallas Cowboys. He's from Penn State. He likes to... I like to think that he likes to give the ball carrier the old we are. That actually wouldn't be... That'd be really cool. Let's see what other colleges are. I mean, I like the, the Florida Gators. I like the Oklahoma Sooners. I like the Texas Longhorns. You know... That... I mean... Again, I'm not like... A super duper diehard fan of college football per se, but I do enjoy it. Oh, right, another team I like Syracuse. Go orange. I wish I was just kind of wearing orange now, actually. And maybe soon. I have to, I have to play that one by ear. But yeah. So once again, go orange. Um. On that note, uh, there's a few things to, to report, um, you know, DuckTales, DuckTales reboot, it just got renewed for a third season, I'm real excited, and we haven't even started season two yet, but then again, I knew it was going to have at least three seasons, because DuckTales, the reboot for DuckTales is really, really good. And honestly, the, se the the first season ended on a pretty darn good high note. Which, you know, is always really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder how they are going to top what they did, though. But, I'll have to wait and see. It's still a good show overall. It's still incredibly entertaining. I really like it. Um, so, there's that. I mean... Another thing to look forward, well, another thing to look forward to, I guess tomorrow outside of, you know, the NFL. Well, actually, the NFL is like the big thing for the weekend. It always is. But I don't know. I guess it's just. Oh, actually, it's not really silly because I've been promoting it ever since goodness knows how long, is, you know, history, a new history of competitive Pokemon battling is going to be coming out tomorrow. Then again, on Monday, I'm going to give you a link in the description, so you guys are going to know. At least I hope you do. So, there is always that to look forward to as well. And... Hmm. 
What else is there to what else is there to talk about? Um Well on this project I have had some free time and something I did that I alluded to is a few weeks ago I came up I uh thought up a few games for the um Star Gazette in Elmira and Leader in Corning. And the idea was the Hank Pinks and the Commonims. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, Hank Pinks are basically, I'll give you two clues. And there's something about those each, each of those two clues that rhyme with each other. An example would be Naughty Father. The answer would be Bad Dad. You know, another, another clue would be um, Entryway. And an increase. The answer would be door more. You know, door is an entryway, more is an increase. So, there you go. And then the commonims are basically, I give you three words or clues. And there's something about each of them that they have in common. So, for example, would be father, mother, brother. The answer would be Hood. You know, fatherhood, brotherhood, motherhood. There you go. And um, it can even be using, I could even use uh, prefixes as well. You know, like um, long, stow, and four. The answer would be B, as in B E. You know, B long, B four, B stow. There you go. <laughs> That actually was a rhyme right there. So, anyway, I actually emailed someone at the leader, and I haven't heard anything back yet, but, you know, here's here's to hoping. I really think I'm going to get something good out of it. At least I hope I do. That would actually be really cool. Um, And, you know, the best part is, you know, it doesn't need to... Oh, I actually just thought of another really good um uh common in, common in question. And this one goes to all the ladies out there. Um blush, foundation, mascara. The answer would be types of makeup. See? It could even be something like that. So again, with common ms and pink pinks, the possibilities are endless. And now it's a simple matter of Hearing from the leader. I guess I probably should email the Star Gazette as well. I don't. I don't really know. I'll have to I'll have to think about that for for a second. But I'm gonna wait until I hear from one first before I try going to the other. And at least I hope it works out. Um. So yeah, there's that. Um. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? Uh, well, huh? Oh, right. There was um one thing that I was going to mention is that um you guys all know that one of my dream jobs of all time is voiceover acting. And voiceover doesn't need to involve just simple characters in a show. It could also be animal sounds and noises as well. Oh yeah. In fact, one of the greatest voiceover actors of all time. And for a while, he was actually one of the highest paid overall actors of all time. Was a guy by the name of Frank Welker. Now... Some of his be some of the best things he's known for uh, was being the voice of Megatron in Transformers. In fact, he's still the voice of Megatron today. Abu from Aladdin, the monkey, he could do that too. And currently, he's the voice of both Fred and Scooby Doo in all Scooby Doo related media. So he's doing pretty good. I speak of Frank and. Well, yeah. He is like the voice overacting king. 
And he is like the gold standard that pretty much every voiceover actor should strive to be like. Well, pretty much all voiceover actors are pretty cool with each other. So, yeah, there's that. I mean, here's how cool with each other they really are. Way back when the old Ghostbusters cartoon was being made. Because Frank Walker actually was doing the sounds of Slimer in the Ghostbusters movie. Not the one in 2016. I'm talking about the one way back in the 80s. They actually wanted to give the role of Slimer to Rob Paulson. Now, I showed you guys who Rob Paulson is. He's another voiceover actor known for being Yakko and Animaniacs, Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, etc. And Rob knew that Frank Walker was the original voice of Slimer. So after they offered him the job, Rob immediately called Frank Walker and he, uh, he asked, Hey, um, they asked me to do the role of Slimer, but I know you did it. Is that okay? And then Frank Walker says, Oh yeah, I know. I'm just waiting for them to... I'm just holding out to give me more money. And then Rob's like, Oh, okay. So he denied... So he declined and eventually Frank Walker got to do Slimer in the Ghostbusters cartoon. So, yeah. When you, ha when you voice a character, it is all about common courtesy. Like... If the role already belonged to someone else, and you are going, already belong to someone, and you're going to give it to someone else, it's common courtesy that you at least ask the original voiceover actor if it's okay to do that. Just because, you know, that's, you know, it's just common courtesy, you know, they, they did it first, and, you know, if they feel they still want to do it, just let them. What's wrong with that? So, Yeah. You know, again, I love voiceover acting. I'm a huge nerd that way. And who knows? Maybe doing these videos will allow me to do it one day. Although, truth be told, I actually have done voiceover acting before. At Trinity Pauling. I don't think I ever actually told you guys this story. but And maybe I'll go into de more into detail another time. But basically... And it was the spring performance, and we we're doing a series of one acts. And I had to be God, but I actually suggested the director, who also would later be the valedictorian of our graduating class of Trinity Pauling. Yeah, he was that cool. I actually suggested to him that since no one knows what God looks like, maybe I should be backstage reading my lines in front of a microphone, and on stage the lights are going to be flickering on and off. It's simple, it's primitive, but it was darn effective. I will have to go more into detail as to what the ramifications of that play were. But there is one thing that I don't need to go into any ramifications for at all. And that is that I ask that you please like, favorite, share, and hit that subscribe button. I could really use the support on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. You know, I keep things pretty chill, keep things pretty mellow, no inappropriate content, of course, because I'm above that. And, as always, I am very humbled I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am hopeful that we all have a wonderful Saturday, and always remember, if you ever want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here, to London here, and I'm always going to have your back. So, take care, everybody.